on the field And yeah, we ballin' no fear No more sitting in the rear On my way to the top of the field Yeah, we ballin' But that was like I can make it happen to you right now where you're at Ain't gotta move a muscle but it's like, like, dog, I really don't want to respond to you. I really would like to, to make peace with you and explain that this whole thing is a misunderstanding, but I can't do it because this internet and this industry is so fucking retarded that if I tell you, hey, look, look, we ain't got to do none of that. Hey, look, brother, I'm on a whole nother place in my career. I ain't with that beef shit. Look, as black men, we really need to stick together. Our real enemy is these motherfucking laws. Our real enemy is this motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? He probably at that level because once you start making money, you, you rise just a little bit above the fucking death trap that we ultimately are merely surviving and existing in. When you get to get to the level just above that to where survival <laughs> God damn it. Where, you know, this survival ain't you having to kill every day. and You know what I'm saying? It's a war every day. When you can... You know what I'm saying? God damn, I made it out. This, Lord, Jesus. And you start living here. Now you can start looking at other things than just... How am I going to make it through the day? Fuck tomorrow. How am I going to make it through the day? Can't think about no fucking book or no motherfucking. How can I make it through the day? I'm out here. I'm out here. I got to be high. I am at war. I'm at, as a street nigga, man. You are at war every day and you have no fucking friends. Give a fuck who the fuck, because you know that for the right circumstances, the motherfucker that you call your wife, mother, brother, best, doesn't matter, will be the ones that put the call in and accept that thousand dollars. Or it was him to spare their life. The right conditions can make anybody bend and break. So to dilute that extreme reality, pop a pill, smoke a blunt, drink a beer, pop another pill, smoke another blunt, and just exist. And just, you know what I'm saying, stay focused. I had to do some shit today that I, I really shouldn't have did, but fuck it, I'm surviving. Fuck it. Because if you were sober throughout this whole thing, and the people who were sober throughout that whole thing, they got glitches now. No different than motherfuckers that went over their tire rack and actually saw what war was. And they come back and they not the same. How many of y'all have seen... And it's been a, it's a sight that you see. I'm not talking about the old, uh, the prime queen turned drug addict. No, nah, no. Nah. I'm talking about the, the athlete. He was an athlete in school and shit like that. Uh, went to college, didn't work out, he come back home and shit like that. Alright, all good. Or let, let, let me let me make it a little bit more close to you for for you kids and shit like that. Um your friend in school and shit like that. Y'all came up from, you know, kindergarten, you know, y'all live in the same place, whatever. Um get to high school about tenth grade, he dropped out. He was always in school being bad and shit like that, whatever family issue. But he was selling a little weed in school. Um, he drops out about ninth, tenth grade, whatever. And um, you go to college, you know, graduate high school, go to college. You come back home to visit, and this nigga's whole demeanor has changed. I noticed that, dog. I noticed, and it wasn't just that the nigga had matured. He changed. He changed. Um, you know, in school, we laugh about each other's shoes and shit like that. Um, and, and, you know, janking and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Niggas ain't on that no more. Like, he, he wasn't, he, he, you can tell that shit's not that funny to him. A lot more serious. 
like a whole, it's like a, a whole nother person is here now. You can tell that he's seen something. Like, what's up with it, man? Oh, uh, no, just grinding, man. Just grinding. What's good with you? I'm just holding it down. I see you riding good. Yeah, I'm trying to do it, man. Because you know him. He ain't going to come with all that. This ah, 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 crazy shit. Or he might come with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's a different person. Because he's living with the reality of at any moment, this whole thing can be over with. And also, the things that he's done as far as, like, he may have told on somebody. He may have, you know, especially when they start fucking with that crack. When motherfuckers start selling hard, the clientele is so much, it ain't just weed. Like, it's, that clientele, I think you have to lose a piece of your heart in order to sell crack because... It's not normal to see an older woman or an older man be so childlike. And you have, you know what I'm saying, the toy. And that's all they want is that toy that you have. The childish games they play with the money, trying to fold it up certain ways. And, oh man, do it for me, man. Please, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, I got eight dollars, man. Come on, do that for me, man. Do it something, man. Come on, man. To try and get down, and then, you know, I was talking to my mom the other day, and we were talking about um, it's actually the thumb, I, I it's a thumbnail I use for the um, for the uh, Young Miami video I just dropped. And you look at those trainers and shit like that, and all those trainers were arrested for prostitution. And she said, Prostitution, who would buy that? They had to be on something, and that's what it is to survive. In that element, the people look like monsters. You know what I'm saying? This emaciated, they look like zombies. Extremely ugly, extremely ugly. Like, I'm talking about, like, scary movie. Like, and they, they're the creatures of the night. The creatures of the night, and you have to dwell amongst these people. These people, without these people, you wouldn't be able to survive. So, you have to develop. A weird type of love for them. A loving relationship with them. Because if they stop coming, without them, you're nothing. You were a kid in, in the ninth grade, but now you're out here. And these are the people that you hang amongst. This friend and went over there. You don't have the same friends that when you was playing basketball in high school. You got other niggas that do the same shit you do. Other heartless motherfuckers that you know you can't trust. So these people, and this becomes your environment. And you become part of your environment. In order to survive. This street shit, dog. There's rules to it. You know, it's, it's bad. It's fucked up. But I say all this to say living in those conditions, no matter how fucking much motherfuckers, I love it, whatever the fuck, every nigga wants to get the fuck out clean. If they would just, if they could just get enough money to get out clean, they, I don't, I love the hustle. Listen to me, nigga. No nigga would turn a million dollars. If nigga just drop a million dollars, hundred thousand dollars, a lot of niggas would quit for fifty thousand because they not making shit. They not make because you gotta buy the dope that's gonna keep you going. Nobody wants to be out there. So when you get the chance with the rap shit or something like that, you actually get out. And now you are able to breathe. Now you can start thinking real thoughts. Now you're able to grieve about what was lost. First you grieve over yourself. Because look, look what you lost in yourself. Ninth grade, you were a kid. That's who you were. Whatever the fuck happened, you started selling dope. And this is all the shit you did. And now you're out of it. And when you're out of it, 
you look back at all the shit you did and, and the guilt just overflows. It's just everything just hits you like this. I really did that shit. But I'm out of it now. So now you start, you coming into your new mind. You start to uh, function in this new mind. And in that new mind, it's like, okay, what I was doing was destroying people. Somebody did the same thing before I did. And that's the reason why I had to go out there. That's why my mama and my daddy was at home. My mama got on the dope. My daddy got caught for selling the dope. And that's what happened to my family structure. And that's why in ninth grade, I dropped out. And it continues. Then you want to find out who made this happen. Because whoever put this shit in play is the true enemy. Once you come upon that information, you're a rapper. A smart rapper is like, okay, knowledge needs to be spread. I have to, you know what I'm saying, do something. But if I rap about this shit and tell everybody that the CIA put a generational curse on us for a reason because we are the strongest race, then everybody's going to tune me out because nobody wants to hear positivity because the CIA has a hold on this whole industry. And can't forget about the fact that I want to continue making money. And what makes money is telling niggas to kill each other. As long as I tell niggas to kill each other and kill themselves, I'll make money. And if I don't make money, I'll have to go back to what I was doing before. But I'll never go back to doing what I was doing before because now I can't unlearn what I've learned. Ignorance is bliss. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I don't want to get too deep into that. But I feel like that's what Sauce Walker is. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, look. But he's in the rap trap himself. You can't act on, like, you can't, you know what I'm saying, be the bigger man. Like, hey, look, 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 brother, I know where you at, man. I was there, too. Look, whatever issue we have is squash, man. It's all good. No, no harm, no foul. But you can't do that. Because as soon as you do that, the internet which is the reason why you make money. The internet is the only reason why you got all that shine with that Drake shit, with that uh, future shit. That's the only reason why you got the spotlight on you. And you did it at the right time. Drake being such a big star, you actually made uh, so much of a fucking splash that he had to come to Houston and apologize and tell Houston, you know I fuck with y'all. You put that much doubt in the people. And it was because of the internet. So it's like you can't hate what created you. You know what I'm saying? It was by the these same fucking rules that you were blessed into this game. And the rules are when engaged you must respond aggressively and eliminate the threat. Or you yourself will be. It's, it's a blood sport. It isn't a, hey, let's talk about this. It, it isn't that. that. It won't be respected because the bots, the fucking bots, the fucking bots, the, the, the comment section that isn't fucking real will say, oh man, Sauce Walker's a bitch. Sauce Walker's not a real blood. Sauce, and, and that will be the narrative. It, it, it will be from faceless fucking people, which I believe are CIA fucking uh, accounts. Listen to me. CIA accounts, which are the same accounts that started all that motherfucking uh, Chirac shit, whatever like that. You don't know who the fuck is saying fuck BD, fuck GD. You don't know who the fuck is saying it. Who the fuck said that? Now you go shoot up the closest GD or the closest BD. And the whole time it was the fucking police. It's the same shit. It's the same fucking shit. These are faceless fucking accounts. If you go look back at some of the people who are, uh, that, that down you you know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you what happens. If you go look at the, 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 the people who down you for doing the right thing, I think you will notice that they're fucking bots. They're not even real accounts. Look at the Instagram account. Look at the... It has two pictures on it and shit like that. No followers. But following everybody. Or has 5,000 followers and following everybody. Who the fuck knows? But how in the fuck do you get... 
talked about for doing what the fuck is best for us as black men. Who the fuck would, who wouldn't want that? Street niggas? And street niggas, that's what we want for the black man to die? Because that's what we saying with this whole thing. Fuck nigga, disrespect this. No, what, what, who disrespect? Who disrespected you more? Sauce Walker? Or the motherfuckers that had you down for the, the majority of your fucking life? Did you ride on the motherfucking police officer that, that bammed you up and fucked you up? The people at the motherfucking uh, home and office? How many white people have you got online and tried to fucking, you know, all this shit right here that did you wrong? But as long as it's a nigga, man, fuck this guy, nigga, what's up, hand, nigga? Penny strap, nigga, penny shooters, nigga. What's up, nigga? And that's why they continue to put these little retarded niggas in the game. Because the little retarded niggas ain't gonna think, this is a fucking fake account that's telling me to go kill this nigga right now. He not gonna think at all. And that's the, why they vet these motherfuckers. They vet them to make sure that they don't have the capacity to fucking think. Because if you think, it won't be a circus. It won't be a fucking bloodbath where we can just laugh at what the niggas is doing. We want to laugh at the niggas. Look at the niggas. Look at them dance. Look at them dance. Look at what they do for the clout. Look at the niggas dance. You can't do that with thinking men. So they don't put black men, thinking black men, into the fucking circus. They put niggas in there. And throw a piece of meat in. <clears throat> throw a piece of meat in the circus. Throw in the blood and, and watch what they do. And this is all we have. This is why hip hop is is loved and, and, and so entertaining. The, the the almost the most entertaining thing next to fucking UFC or boxing. Other blood sports where motherfuckers get hurt and shit like that. For, for people's amusement. I'm insane, right? I'm insane. My nigga, Peso, tell me why you went at Sauce. Tell me the reason why you went at him. Tell me that a white man or a white woman hasn't done 12 times, a million times worse to you. As you niggas are disrespecting the life out of somebody that looks exactly like you. For saying a word the way you say it. A police officer and slam your mother to the ground and you would have the utmost restraint. But a nigga say a word the way that you say it, you will call your whole block up to put guns in front of a camera. Get the fuck off my goddamn show. You niggas are fucking faggots.